Welcome to this section. Uh, Lily O is here. She's going to teach us how to cook jihu cha. Okay. And before we get into jihu cha, we are going to run through the ingredients that we are going to use, and she's going to explain certain things to you. Okay. Uh, let's start, Lily. Okay. First, we have these Bombay onions. Bombay onions. So yeah. you want to cut finely? Yeah, cut very finely. Uh, and then uh, after that, we have got uh, the garlic, which is to be chopped. Bombay onions, why do we use small onions? No, the small onions mainly for kerabu. So it's best that we use the Bombay bigger? onions, bigger okay. onions. Bigger yeah. Bombay onions, okay. And then the garlic, we will and chop. And the garlic, we will chop something like this. Okay. Then later, we have got the mushrooms, which oh. has to be soaked. Okay. In water for about until it is uh, soft, uh, soft, then we cut into strips. Cut into strips. Okay, so when you soak the mushrooms, you keep the water? Yeah, we keep the water for use later when we do cooking. Okay, so the water will enhance the flavor yeah, of the enhance dish? enhance the flavor through. That's wonderful. Then after that, we will we also have to soak the juicy okay. until it is soft. So this and is pre, you bought it, this from the market? Yeah, everything is from the market only. So it cooks, uh, you know, cut? They only cut it, but it is very hard. So we want to soak it. Then the water also can be used later on for cooking. How do you choose whether the jihu si is oh, the jihu good si or no good? Now it's not easy to choose. We only... Because now it comes in packets, small little packets or big packets. Okay. And it's not... Uh, it's quite expensive nowadays. Oh. So we just trust the person who sells trust it. Trust your vendor. Yeah. Good. Okay. So then after that, we have this... Uh, oh. Samchan. Oh. Samchan, okay. The samchan, when you dice it, it has to be diced into tiny pieces as well. Okay. Not big pieces. So the samchan with more fat is better? Yeah, the, the, it's best that you have the samchan with more fat. More fat? Yeah, so that it enhances the taste like the uh, mayu So it enhances oh, the taste. Okay. But before you cook the samchan, it's best that you take out the skin. Okay. So that it won't, uh, you know, when when it's in water, the skin will bubble up like that. So it's best. It won't to, splatter, lah. Uh, won't splatter. Okay. No. So then, that's the pot. Yeah. And then next. And then next one, of course, you have the uh, bangguang, bangguang, okay. which is the turnip, yam bean, and cut into julienne type. Uh, julienne. Uh, so you julienne the bangguang. Uh, julienne okay. the bangguang. The same goes with the carrot. Also uh, for bangguang, for bangguang. Okay, coming back to the bangguang. Uh -huh. uh, how do we choose whether it is uh, without fiber car? No, when you buy the bangkwan, the, bang the outside of it, okay. when you, you have got to touch it, if it is soft, then that means the inside is already bad. Oh, so, okay. once it is uh, okay, you look at it, it's okay, then you can have it already. Something solid lah. Yeah, something solid. And we wouldn't want a big one because there will be like too it old. It will be too old and it will be hard. Fibery inside yes. Okay. So, when it comes to the bangkwan, it's so much work to cut like that. It's yeah, so beautiful. it's so much work. So anyway, why don't you grate it? Uh, when you grate it, there will be much water to oh, it comes okay. out when you cook. So it's not uh, advisable. Lah. Okay, because that water is actually the flavor yeah. for the dish. Mm. What about carrot? You can actually grate carrot, isn't it? Of course, the carrot can be grated. Okay. But then since we do the cutting of the bangkwang, we also start to cut the bad carrot. Champion my work. <laughs> That's why like, it cut any fast. Like. The same goes with the cabbage. Okay. You've got to take out the leaf, wash it, and roll it. Then you cut. Okay, the cabbage. Some has like slightly greenish. Yes. Then chili is the white type, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually better. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. But the greenish one, the outside one, sometimes the the leaf is very soft, so oh, we I throw see. it away. Okay. We don't use it. So you use we, the corn. Uh, the, we, we prefer the hard type one. Uh. So you will di dismantle the cabbage leaf by leaf, wash it, wash roll it, it then up, roll it up, then cut it into strips like that. Can you cut the cabbage into half and then cut it? Thinly and then only wash it. It can be done, but I have not practiced. <laughs> okay, doki. Uh, what else? Do you then need? after that, for cooking, you need oil. Okay. Of course, you have all. Uh, you salt. need salt. You need uh, thick sauce and soy sauce and a little bit of pepper. Okay. Pepper. Then. Uh, Do you add sugar to this dish? Uh, actually, 
when I do, I do add a little bit. A little bit. A little okay. bit. Because bangkuang is already yeah, sweet, it's carrot already is sweet, sweet, onions is Just sweet. Just to enhance the taste, uh, that's yes. all. So it's a but I don't put ajinomoto okay. for your oh, Okay, <laughs> no ajinomoto. <laughs> okay, so after you cook, this is the lettuce. lettuce. That's how you eat the jihucha. Yeah. So you eat the lettuce, and then you put your jihucha inside and the dalu of sambal. Ah, yes, a little bit of sambal. So then you just eat it. Ah. <laughs> Heaven. <laughs> huh? Heaven in the mouthful. Okay, Doki, okay. so we'll show you how to cook all this.
So this is the fantastic Jihu Cha from Lily O. Okay, now we're going to sample the wonderful food. Chia lah, my. So what they do is they they use a lettuce leaf. Ah, see. Then they put the sambal belacan at the bottom. Then only they put the Jihu Cha on top and roll it into a parcel. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Kwai chia be chia. Huh? Wow. Bon appetit. Good, ah. So the correct way is put the sambal belacan in the bottom, ka? Hmm. Eat sambal belacan, good job. Huh? Okay. How's the thing? This is the sambal belacan. Oh, okay. Yes, true. You need very good sambal belacan to make this magic work. When we are busy eating, no time to talk means the food is extremely really good. Try this at home. This is her way of cooking Jiho Cha. And there are so many different recipes out there, so many different ways of cooking. Okay, some will add prawns, some will add vinegar, you know. So you add tau jiam. Some will add tau jiam, correct? Mm. So it's up to you to decide what you put into your Jiho as long as you enjoy your home cooked food. Huh? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, very good. So please try. Bye bye. Bye.